A strangely familiar, scratchy voice shouts, Now! Spirits of the frigid north, spin the water, draw it forth. Frosty spirits, summon twice, turn the water into ice. You find yourself trapped in ice. Come for a little visit, are we? A little chat, perhaps? We remember the last time you came for a little visit, don't we, kids? You turned me into a frog, didn't you, ha? Huh? Thought I wouldn't remember you. You thought to yourself, let's just visit Baba Yaga and see what we can turn her into today. <laughs> well, you thought wrong, kiddo. Well, now you're here and all trapped like a fly in a web. Just looking at you reminds me of lunch. So, uh, what'll it be, kids? Hero sandwiches or hero on the half shell? Seeing as he is already frozen, we could just settle for a little ice cream sundae with whipped scream and nuts. Oh, good. We'll just skip the main course and go straight to dessert. Any last words from the soon-to-be supper? Say last words? Sure. You say something properly heroic. Well, wasn't that inspiring, kids? Guess we'll have bologna and freeze for snackies. <sighs> okay, let's tell her about the gnome. Also, let's just say hi. You want those to be your last words? Oh. And now we'll tell her about the gnome. You tell about Mr. Bones the Gnome, and the reason you came here. So, you come here to help the Jester get back his jokes, huh? How fitting. He made a fool out of me because you made a frog out of me, and now I'll make food out of thee. Just desserts, after all. <laughs> So now we can all have our favorite treat to eat. Isn't that right, kids? You'd rather have pie. What? I pie? <laughs> oh! Elderberry pie. It's true we haven't had that for a long while, but I can't very well make one now. I don't have any of the ingredients. Hmm. Oh, poo poo poo. Now that you mention it, I'd really like some elderberry pie, with or without ice cream. You're right. He did bring us a mandrake, didn't he? And it made such a lovely mousse. Very well. But it means no ice cream for now. So, Mr. Tender Morsel, I'll give you another chance. Bring me some fresh elderberry pie, and I won't have you for dessert. Agreed? Good. Vigorously. You nod your head in agreement. Good. Bring us some fresh elderberry pie, or we'll just settle for Adam's apple pie and minced meat instead. <laughs> we'll recycle this ice around this fool for iced knee later. Hmm. Hero Lout, now get out. Well, what have we here? Back in one piece? I sure never expected to see you outside of a quiche again. 
Hello, Nit. We are being as glorious as we can be while being threatened to be eaten by Your an ogre. reversal spell is wearing thin. Yeah, that reversal spell helped out a lot. Thanks. So, let's tell the skull about our meeting with Baba Yaga. She sent you after an elderberry pie? Well, you're not going to find that one in the freezer section of your local store. She also didn't tell us how to make the pie. So, um, how do we make a pie? She didn't give you the recipe. All right, let's see. You'll need a pie pan for starch. You'll need bone meal for a crust, gru goo for flavoring, and elderberry berries, of course. Okay, well, we've got the pie pan. And bone meal, we just need to find a skeleton. Well, it won't be on the shelf with the flour and cornmeal. You'll probably need to make it yourself. Get some bones and grind them. Some... Hey, don't look at me like that. You know, Baba wouldn't like it if you use bones she knows personally, but a bone meal, if you know what I mean. I guess. Not how you'd go about it, but suppose that recipe works. Maybe. Maybe she's onto something. You know, with weird swamp slime and human bones. And a pie pan? Really? A pie pan? How should I know how you get a pie pan? You're the one with the skull still stuffed with brains. Use them! <laughs> so what's Grugu? That's the stuff that leaks out of the Dark One's cave. It's kind of like molasses gone bad. Really bad. And where do we find some elderberries? You'll need to pick them right off the elderberry bush. Careful or you'll make it cry. There's nothing worse than elderberry wines. <laughs> Alright, so tell me about the bush. I don't know much about it. I don't get around much after all. I think it's a mean green to the northwest. Stay careful around it. If you destroy it, you'll make Baba very displeased with you. On the other hand, it could destroy you. All right, well, we've, we know what we need. Your reversal. Yeah, reversal just wore off. For all the good it did us. Sentient berries, all right. Well, what kind of berries would you use? Now, we've seen that bush before, and I think we found it just by following the wall here. So, we'll just do that again. Preferably the non-speaking kind. Well, that's okay. I don't think it actually talks. Do we go down? Nope, not this screen. Definitely not this screen. Is it just me, or does the skull sound a bit like Joe Pesci? I think that might be what they're going for. So here we are. This is the elderberry bush. There's something strange about this bush. Maybe it's the eyes. Oh, forget it. It's probably just an ordinary, everyday bush with blood-red berries and tentacle-like branches. Now we do have to be careful because this thing is an ambush predator. So we need to see if we can just fetch some berries. You try to fetch some berries from the bush, but they seem firmly attached to branches. Um, so that didn't work. How about... We don't want to actually hurt it because Bonehead said that Baba Yaga would be mad if we did. So fire is out. Although I did just save, right? 
I just saved. Well, we're already here. Let's save again. Fire! Your spell doesn't seem to have any lasting effect on the bush. Oh. So what happens if I just walk over to it? That hurt. That really hurt. Think of being stung by a ten-foot-long wasp. Yeah, that knocked out a lot of health. You think that would be a relief in comparison? Well, what if we distract him with something? Like a chicken. That you think Okay, so he's still doing that. That's not a great idea. The bush would Better leave it alone. Yeah, you told me. Force bolt? <laughs> You've managed to knock a branch with some berries loose from the bush. Okay, that works. Oh, it's coming back. And it appears to have eaten the rubber chicken. Oh, I was going to cast fetch, but I guess that's not necessary when it's just right there. You strip the berries from the loose branch and carefully store them in a pocket in your backpack. Rar and stuff wilds, you just missed a pun. It's not getting late, is it? I guess it is. Oh, now what? Okay, the rabbit. I actually don't know what button it attacks with uh, mouse and keyboard. I guess I should have looked at that. There. Or not mouse and keyboard, just plain keyboard. I mean, you can right click to attack. But I can't remember what is attack with just keyboard controls. I feel like that'd be a lot easier to manage. All right, so here's the swamp. Here's the Dark One's cave. Let's just... Grab a few bottles of this goop. You slowly fill your flask with the greasy, grimy goo. <laughs> Dude standing over that mouse, it's actually a rabbit. And you if, you slowly... if you've seen Monty Python, you know that rabbits are serious monsters. Slow... There we go. That ought to be enough to cover us. And we still need bones. Oh, look, here's a skeleton. You pick up a single slimy bone. Hopefully the one bone will be enough. You already got a good bone. Leave the rest of them alone. Okay, I think that's everything we need for the pie. Vorpal rabbits, and he had a holy hand grenade. He did, but we didn't need that. We're a hero after all. By fire and by blood, I join with thee in the order of the flame. Rar and stuff BP with the resub. 19 months. Something something. Blarble Florf. True words of wisdom. This takes us back to the bush, right? 
Maybe. Is this the bush down here? What's coming? Okay, another one of you. That's fine. Let's go. Victory! The cute, innocent, well, maybe not exactly, little bunny has been viciously slaughtered and now looks like a roadkill. We'll just let the bush have that. Magic phrase, bush is gone. As Disappears as if it was magic, but it is magic. Oh, do I need to get more corn? Yeah, I think I need to get more corn. We'll see. So, did you get it? Show me. I won't let you in. Hang on. Look, I got the I got the stuff. Oh, that's right. Try to make me do everything for you. Can't make our own pies then, can we? Well, forget. Okay, let's put You toss the elderberries into the pie tin. And the grew goo. After an interminable after interminable minutes, the last of the gooey grew goo splurches into the pie pan. You rub the slimy flask clean and put it away. All right, we got this. You put the bones into the huge mortar. Now what? Well, we got to grind it up. You work the pestle back and forth in the mortar. It's hard work, but after a while you manage to grind the bones into a fine bone meal with almost the consistency of flour. And we just put that... Is that this? No, that's the cloth. That's probably a rock. Oh. The fine bone meals. Right, we need a um, jar. You fill the flask with powdery bone meal from the mortar. And then we can put that... Onto our pie. And now we have a pie. Delicious. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to the Baba's menu for tonight. That didn't do it. Nothing. That didn't. Look, I'm looking. I'm, I'm trying to. That didn't. Looking. That one? Bzzzt. The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been cooked to a delicate golden brown. That pie looks like a hospital hey, trip. Bird legs! Squat! I hope this is not what they've been feeding you at the hospitals, Wilds. You quickly step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kids? Good. It's not like I trust him. Floor quick. Make him stick. You find your shoes stuck to the floor.
Spirits of the swamp and mire, aid me in what I desire. Creatures of the mist, beings of the fog, turn this human into a cute hedgehog. At least we're cute. I have a sudden craving for a tiggly wiggly. Perhaps some hedgehog grog. Hedge piggly swiggly and pig newtons. Hmm. What's that you say? Elderberry pie. Oh darn. He was bringing that here, wasn't he? I don't suppose a piggly wiggle can get the pie from his backpack, could he? Particularly if his feet are stuck to the floor. Oh, pity. Spirits of the mist and more, restore this man as he was before. So, now my dining delight, do you have what I asked for? I guess we can only talk. Um, we made your pie. You tell about how you made the pie. Well, that's all very well and good. But until I have my elderberry pie in hand, you are in serious danger of staying for supper. Get it? Well, I guess I, I can't select it as my last item, but I can select from inventory. There you go. That smells delicious, just the way we like it, fresher from the fire. So, let me think, how should I reward you for such a lovely pie? Mm -hmm. Well, kitty, should we just fry him now, or for an entree have green spleen casserole with a roast leg of man? <laughs> Oh, all right. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. So what is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? Well, let's go ahead and save. And let's say, um... Let's, oh, we can ask for magic spells. We can ask for something different. Let's. But we're here for the gnome's humor. That's what we came for. Can take or leave the stinky part, but I enjoy friendly, joyful people. Well, unfortunately, the land of Mordavia is a quiet place, full of friendly, joyful, stinky people. You tell about the gnome and how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want this sense of humor? I'm not sure the gnome really had a sense of humor, making fun of poor old ogresses. Oh, all right. Take this good humor bar and give it to the gnome. I suppose there is nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't tell a joke. You take the good humor bar and put it away. You've got what you wanted, and I've got what we wanted. Tasty treat, now retreat. Well, I guess she liked the pie, or you would have taken its place. <laughs> A good humor bar. While this bears a passing resemblance to an ice cream bar on a stick, it hasn't melted the whole time you've been carrying it. It feels kind of funny in your hand. Well, we could have asked for magic, and we could have asked for something else. We kind of need to do both of those. Baba Yaga speaks out loud. Cut so true, glue his shoes. You find your feet stuck again to the floor. Oh, back so soon, Cookie Face. I hope for your sake you brought us something to eat. After all, there's always room for hero. <laughs> uh, 
Have some Gru Goo. Well, it is true that Gru Goo makes a lovely sauce for ice cream Sundays. <laughs> so, what do you want for this cookie? Uh, not a cookie, but how a. Oh, dang it. Teach me a spell. You ask for a magical spell. Magic? Hmm, let me think. What have I got that won't let you get me? I suppose you want something other than a spell to cause warts. <laughs> you nod your head. Oh, all right, all right. Here's a spell scroll to teach you the hide spell. I use it all the time, as you can plainly see. You read the scroll. As it vanishes, the spell remains in your memory. And here's another... Well, it is true that Gru Goo may... So what you... He run... Hey! Can I help you out? Which way did you come in? <laughs> she, she took the other one. Okay. Uh, redo that. So we'll give her one. She'll kick us out. Then we'll go back in and give her the other one. Baba, cut. You find. Oh. There you go. Well, it is. So what? Uh, spell. You want? Oh, we can even talk to her. Mm, not too bad. I had wyvern waffles for breakfast, and venom makes a great syrup for waffles. <laughs> Rewards! What do you want in the re- Okay, and rumors? I've heard that you were brought here by those up at the castle. They weren't too happy when you landed in the Dark One's cave instead of their spell circle. Well, they just didn't realize how powerful the Dark Influences are. They are keeping a close watch over you now, though. Hey. Hero well, I was going to say goodbye, but... Can I help you out? Which way did you come in? And back up we go. Also save. Baba, you find your. F oh, back so soon, Cookie. Here you go. Well, it is true. So Let's ask for the Dark One ritual, which I guess was the something else, and then we just kind of knew that she had it. You asked Baba Yaga about a Dark One ritual. So, you heard about that, huh? I found it in the hangman's tree some years ago. You're asking for trouble, I hope you know. Using the ritual for any purpose will only bring you grief. It can be used in either one or two ways. Its main purpose is to bring a dark one across to this world. However, a very powerful wizard could use it to send the dark one back to its world. You don't qualify as a very powerful wizard as I see it. Still, you want it, you got it. So we're a powerful wizard. Put the ritual away in your pack. All right. He Bye. Can I help you out? Nope, we were just going. We are done here, and now we have the hide spell. With the hide spell, we have the amazing power. You have to stand still. Oh. To disappear. But then as soon as we move, we reappear.